ambitious, ruthless and deceitful, Lord Ramsay Bolton of the Dreadfort set about trying to regain his father's glory the only way he knew how, through reckless cruelty. In 316 AC, 20 good Bolton men ambushed King Rickon's carriage, and before anyone knew what was happening, the young monarch was dragged to the Dreadfort dungeons. Ramsay sent a pink letter to all northern lords. In it, he claimed to simply continue the good work of his father in protecting the realm from a mad king, and demanded the royal regency, proclaiming it his birthright. But the lords of the north did not bend to this act of insanity. In response, Ramsay sent each of them a finger bone from King Rickon's right hand, saying that the bones would continue to come until his demands were met. The realm teetered on the brink of civil war for months, until Ramsay's rival and Rickon's spymaster, Lady Winifred Manderley of White Harbour, managed to successfully break her king out of prison. Once recovered from his festering injuries, King Rickon was out for revenge. But Lord Ramsay was not so easy to deal with. The shrewd marriage pact his father had forged with the Lannisters of the Rock was strengthened by a marriage between Ramsay's daughter, Rhea, and Prince Marwyn, son of Harold Arryn of the Vale. Much as he would have liked to imprison Ramsay for treason, King Rickon was forced to contend with the basic math of the diplomatic reality. If he assaulted the Dreadfort, it would be two kings against one. Knowing he was in a position of strength, and perhaps understanding that with so many enemies, his time on this earth was probably limited, Ramsay decided on a final act of lunacy. With the eyes of the realm upon him, he declared war on the Lord Wayne Woolfield of the Broken Branch. Lord Ramsay claimed that as the heir to the Red Kings of old, the High Lordship rightfully belonged to the Boltons, and he raised his 6,000 levies. The war was won for the Boltons after a bloody and decisive victory at Overton. However, victorious Lord Ramsay the Ruthless continued to chase down the fleeing soldiers to the Hornwood. As he watched his dogs tear a soldier apart, he was shot with an arrow by Lord Wayne of the Broken Branch himself. He is said to have died in a fit of maniacal laughter at the bloody spectacle. The realm breathed a sigh of relief. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JJ Gaming. And welcome back to your boy, John L. Bolton. Yes, last episode, uh, your boy Ramsey died under suspicious circumstances. No, not under suspicious circumstances, strangely. He actually died in an honorable battle. <laughs> was killed by Lord Wayne of Ramsgate, who is now our vessel. He murdered our dad, this guy. <laughs> Can we imprison him for that? Probably not, right? Oh, he's uh, he's in hiding. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, we wouldn't imprison him anyway, because we are John L. Bolton. A new Bolton, who uh, isn't really like his uh, his old man. Nor is he like his uh, his ruthless grandfather. This uh, this is kind of, a, kind of a softy, this man. He's ugly and naive appeaser. He likes appeasing people. Considers himself uh, well liked, you know. He wants to. Oh, yeah, so if you be, no, if you, bleh, sorry, <laughs> I'll warn you guys in advance. I was at a beer festival this afternoon, so I drank quite a lot of <laughs> beers altogether. Uh, I think I'm pretty sober by now. It's it's been a couple of hours, but uh, you know, if I slur my words here and there, that's the reason. <laughs> so uh, a naive appeaser wants to be well liked and fancy themselves dipl diplomats. Uh, unfortunately, everyone else just tends to bully them. Yeah, so this is this guy's a bit like uh, Viserys from uh, House of the Dragon, which I just watched. I just watched episode five. I hadn't watched it yet, and I don't know, guys. I I I think it's a great show. I um I didn't have high expectations. I thought it would suck because it was uh, like Ryan Condal or something. He I, I looked at a sort of his filmography. He's the director of the show, and he didn't really do much great stuff uh, you know he did like uh, a couple of Dwayne the Rock Johnson movies for example and not really much else and then the other guy was his Michael Miguel Sapochnik who did a bunch of the the heavy action episodes so I didn't and I, 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 I don't really care for the action in Game of Thrones I care for like the intrigue and the character stuff so I didn't really care for those two showrunners but so far they've been doing a great job so I'm, I'm really uh, excited about the next episode actually <laughs> so that's uh, that's good uh, it's a bit of a tangent, sorry about that. We will see what John L can do. Uh, the reason why I'm going on a bit of a tangent might actually be that there isn't much to do just at the moment. We are fabricating a claim 
in White Harbor. I think we are trying to get into the good graces of our king. First bolt and ever to achieve that. <laughs> Dynastic Saint, Tyrannical Saint. Well, those should go away by themselves, right? Yeah, rate of 10 every 10 years. So in a decade or so, this should go away. And this should also go away in a decade. So eh, we, 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 we will get there. Uh, we are family focused. We, have a, we want to have a son. Sure. Okay, fine. Let's go. Okay, what are we doing? We are fighting Kevin. What do you, what do you say? Appoint counselor. Wow, really? Advisor. I would kind of prefer to be like an actual <laughs> council member doing something. But I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. And uh, I guess uh, Lord Rickon likes us enough to uh, appoint as an advisor, which is uh, <laughs> which is good because uh, our dad cut his hand off. <laughs> I made it a bit more gruesome in the uh, in the intro because I feel like it's something that uh, that uh, the Ramsey would do. Rickard died, the heir to the north, right? <coughs> Who is now the heir to the north then? Lord Henley of Carhold. <coughs> this guy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, interesting. He's got a weak claim to the Kingdom of the North. What about you? I owe you with Carhold. Yeah, so I've, I've been thinking a little bit. Are we married already? We are. I've been thinking a little bit of how we... Because we are an honorable man right now, so we cannot really plot and, and scheme our way to the top anymore. The Blackfish. Is he dead? I don't know. We cannot really plot and scheme our way to the top anymore. It doesn't really fit the character. Appoint Commander. Sure, we come. He can be your commander. I don't know why you would pick us. We're not really that good. <laughs> but fine. Can we join a society, maybe? Yeah, so... Uh, 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 John was not really a schemey guy. I kind of want to play the, the character. So he, I think he wants to gain power through... Semi-honorable ways. I mean, he's still a Bolton. But he is charitable and just. So I think he's, he's very different from... Uh, from Ramsey. So... Uh, brother in arms. Okay, Master Benfred of Thorn Square. Benfred Tollhart. Alright, oh, he looks very similar to me. Charitable, kind, yeah. Great. He's my buddy. Let's make him a special character. Where is he? Master of Thorn Square. Where, where is that? Here, okay. Let's keep an eye on him. He's our buddy in the in the realm. Um, but mind, mind the title. We can appoint somebody a captain of the household guard. That's fine. Brenda Umber, sure. I think uh, she, she, did, she did it before. She's my mother, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> My mother is the captain of my household, guys. I mean, she's, she's, she's strong. Makes some sense, I guess. I think she's probably pretty happy that Ramsey died. <laughs> Request council support from Winifred Manley. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Didn't you kill... Oh, you released Rickon from the Dreadfort dungeon. That's her. Voting with me in the council. Nope. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> We're not going to vote with Winifred Manley. We're going to attack her at some point. Every ruler needs to go out and meet the peasants in person from time to time, just to make sure that they know you still exist, if nothing else. As you visit the locals of Overton... Overton. That's where my dad died. Oh, no, no, he didn't die in Overton. He died in, in the Hornwood here. But we had a big battle here in Overton. Ramsey chased down the peasants here in the Hornwood. Um, so we're going to the Overton. Maybe we are looking for our dad's body. Could be. We want to bury him. I speak very frankly about what you think of them. Something that they took great offense in, it seems. You look back to ensure that your guards are there to keep you out of harm's way, only to notice they have all gone into the local tavern. <laughs> Before you know it, the peasants begin to throw things at you. I could run to Lord Brandon and hide there. Maybe I can just outrun them. Wow. <laughs> they really don't like me. I mean, <laughs> it makes sense that uh, in Overton they wouldn't like me. <laughs> I will run to Lord Brandon and hide there. This man. The Lord of Overton. He probably doesn't like me either. Maybe I can just outrun them. Mm, maimed. Oh, I really would, wouldn't like to get maimed. Wounded would be fine. <sighs> I don't really want to risk getting imprisoned by this guy. I've got one them. Come on. One eyed. Briefly, you could see it coming. Perhaps you could have acted differently to avoid this. You are now one eyed. Hindsight is 50 50. <laughs> Fucking hell game. I mean, it does look quite badass. Okay, so we, we already lost an eye. I mean,. <laughs> it's kind of karma, right, for the Boltons. So that's fine. We also have a loan, I think, uh, going. 50, 50 gold loan. Repay loan. 65 gold. Okay, let's just uh, wait to repay that. Leading troops in B River Spring. Okay, well, we're doing quite well in the north. What is the... Uh, yeah, it's for the heirloom, right? It's a bit of a silly reason to fight a war. But... I mean... Hmm. What do you guys think? 
should I um should I console uh, console cheat uh, so that Rickon captures the Westerlands? Because I always think it's a bit silly these wars for ancestral heirlooms. Nah, I, I don't think I will do it unless a lot of you think I should. Because I think also uh, King Edric. Is, I, I think I think Rickon is just taking an opportunity here, because the the rock is already at war with the Iron Throne. Uh, and also with the uh, Iron Islands. So, no, no, I, I, I don't think I will do it. Unless, like, all of you say, please do it. <laughs> then I will, might, then, I'm, then, I'm, then I, uh, I might consider it. Marcella's pregnant, great. Let's have a son, Marcella. We can use one. Also, I kind of want to get rid of uh, severely injured. We get a prison of Walda to Mary. Walda Frey, what are you doing here? What did you do? Kill my wife. Oh, hell no. <laughs> But we are we are just so we uh, but this is a reason to imprison somebody right? Let's call call her up for trial. So Robert shall interrogate her now. Robert Mertens, my castellan. Okay, he made a poor case. Oh dear, innocent. Damn it, <laughs> you are pretty pretty terrible castellan actually. We have a better one. Yeah, this is why you need a castellan who has at least decent uh, diplomacy skill. I think we might want to find somebody else. He looks like a pretty decent guy. He's got the uh, thirteen. See what you have 13 diplomacy, that sounds okay. Yeah, why don't you come over here, my man? Heart and lock. Donald Lock. Who is he again? Isn't he like in a night's watch or something? I'm gonna look him up. So Donald Lock is a knight from House Lock. Wow, really? <laughs> it's almost nothing here. Okay. He's a very minor character, but he does have a wiki link. Which is more than I can say for some characters in CK2. There's some pretty major characters in CK2 that don't have a wiki link. Uh, yeah, like Sir King Arthur, for example, is, is in CK2, if you dig deep. He doesn't have a wiki link, I think. Um, Castellan, yeah, let's replace you with uh, Lord Harrion. Why do you guys hate me? I guess for because of my tyrannical stain. Oh, yeah, I've been of predecessor minus 47. <laughs> wow. Okay. Everybody still hates me. <laughs> Besides the High Lodge of the Broken Man, I can forget about that, man. Lord Hellas of Ironwrath has given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning... Somebody's sexual preferences, my vessel. Expose and denounce him publicly, giving me a reason to arrest or threaten him. Um, hmm. I'm just. This guy's honorable. Um, on the other hand, he has a vessel. If I were if I were Ramsey, I would definitely imprison this man and grab grab his land. But uh, we're just right. Should we, should we still threat, threaten him? Are we are we idiots? Is that a just thing to do? Not really, yeah? So I'll keep this information to myself. It's a bit more boring always playing as... Uh, last time on the no obligation to give recompense for Re Levy's race. I hereby grant those vessels of mine dedicated to the North War Composition in Gold. Oh, thanks. Thanks, uh, Lord Rickon. Now we can repay our loan, I think. Here we go. We can imprison Lord Wayne of Ramsgate. Oh, he's in hiding. We can't imprison him, though. What, what is he trying to do? Kill me? Oh, Lord Wayne. Lord Wayne, Lord Wayne, Lord Wayne. We're definitely gonna imprison you. Herald of Mountain of Hill has declared war, uh, claim on the Trident War, alright. I think that's not gonna help him much. I think the North has got this. But let's see. Would be interesting if, uh, if Rickon lost the Trident. I mean, it's possible, I suppose. Rickon is occupied here over here in the Westerlands. Ah, I lost the trade severely injured, that's good. And I'm, I'm still in command, minus 20 fertility. I would prefer really not to be. Leona Bolton is my daughter. With Lannister uh, yellow hair. Okay, interesting. How would how will we call her? We can call just call her Marcella, right? Or uh let's see. Who is my my mother? Brenda. We can call we can call her Brenda. Brenda's a good name. Sure. Brenda, you're a fine girl. What a good wife you would be. Such a fine girl. Like I said, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit drunk. <laughs> While passing judgment onto criminals from the safety of your throne, a young noble is brought before you. You quickly come to the conclusion that this man is indeed guilty. Condemning him might not be the wisest choice, but he is of a noble birth. If you were to pardon the man, he might prove himself useful to you, as he would be in your debt. Uh, he's indeed guilty, so then I'm definitely going to uh, put, 
Put him in the dungeons, right? I'm, I'm just... <laughs> I'm a very different guy from uh, Ramsey. Ramsey would definitely have imprisoned him. <laughs> Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that the dragons live once more and that Mistress Jonah now rides Grimax into battle. Interesting. Viserion, okay. How are the dragons doing? This is the first, first grandchild, basically, of the dragons. Who is you? Uh, who is your rider? He's wild. Rhaegal is written by Rayella, Princess Rayella of the Iron Throne. Heir to the Great Red Sea. Oh, this is the daughter of Daenerys, I guess? Yeah, daughter of Daenerys and uh, Aegon. Daenerys is still alive. Aegon was murdered in personal combat uh, by Lord Howland, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> so this uh, this lady now has a dragon. Oh, she, she already had a dragon. This is the, the new dragon. Educated by Mistress Jonah. Alright. What a horrible person. Red Priest. Huge amount of learning. Okay. Interesting. Sure. I, uh, I, I would still be interested in uh, hearing about the dragons, even though up north we're probably not going to deal with them very much. Are we still in command? I kind of prefer not to be. Yeah, we are. Yeah, let, let, let's just stay in command, right? We want to ingrati ingratiate ourselves to uh, King Rickon a little bit. Man. I tried to make this guy look less evil, but he looks like the most evil of the three. <laughs> Even though he's like a very good guy, actually. One part of being charitable is to harbor the homeless. Several villages have been destroyed in a storm and the peasants need somewhere to live. Yeah, you can stay in one of my castles, that's fine. I'm pleased to hear that there's a period of grace, to, uh, period of peace and shrewd management. The province of Ethering is doing very well. Alright. Can we already imprison... Uh oh, are we um, auto-stopping plots? No, I don't think so. No. I'm. I did notice that one of these guys was trying to imprison me. Oh, he's dead, I guess. Died from too much drinking. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> this man tried to kill me, but uh, this guy. Oh, he hates me as well. <laughs> Minus one hundred. Okay. All right. I guess we should spy on this guy. We tried to murder him, but we're just so we're not going to do that. We're going to ingratiate ourselves to him. We're going to show him we're a good ruler, because we are John O. Bolton. Uh, I believe that one of your vessels can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. Obligate the vessel, yeah. She's honorable, so she should listen, right? Very good. Alright, so she's not joining any factions, that's good. Request council support from Mage Mormon. She's still alive, huh? She's 72 years old. I think she's been on the council for decades. No. No, Mage. You're not gonna blindly uh, accept anything. We need a new justiciar. Alright, do we have any good persons? Branda, my mother. Or Brandon, the Lord of Overton. That would be a shrewd choice. Yeah, let's do that. Faction, really? Increased council power in the Dreadfort. Yeah, these guys both hate me. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to give you increased council power. I think the Dreadfort still has Yeah. Basically the council means nothing. <laughs> Which is fine. Seventy eight percent for King Rickon. He's gonna get back ice finally. Lord Perman Nimmer of Dorne accepted King Edric of the Iron Throne's peace offer. Okay. Alright. So he... He won... Uh, King, Rick, King Edric won against him. The sure war over Spotswood. I thought uh, the Dorne was still uh, still a vessel of the Iron Throne, but I guess not. It's very difficult to see who is and isn't a vessel, really. Uh, I think the Stormlands are still his vessel, though. Pretty sure. Uh, I believe that one of your uh, as politely. That little... This man. Lord of Ramsgate, yeah. That makes sense that he doesn't uh, listen to uh, me asking him politely. Get out of hiding, uh, you coward. We want to imprison you. Well, I guess we, we don't want to. Lady Paramount, someone. Uh, King Kevin's retaliation is a uh, white piece, okay. So he's at, at war with one fewer person. But he's still at war with the Iron Throne. And also with King Rickon, obviously. With my illustrious education, yep. Let's uh, continue swaying the king in the north. Uh, Lady Par Paramount Barbara of the Trident accepted. King Hilt of Mountainville won. Ooh. That is interesting. Look at this. <laughs> so King Rickon, uh, in his eagerness uh, to fight a war against the hated Lannisters, has lost like half his kingdom. That is interesting, man. That makes us, uh, us as the Boltons, very, very powerful. I think we are probably the most powerful vessel in the north now. Let's have a look. 
Jono, yeah, 37%. Ooh, that's great. Winifred, my rival, is the number two. And then we have the Umbers. Karstarks. The Reeds. The Wolf. Wolfswood. The Glovers, yeah, okay. I remember those. Barbary Dustin. He's still alive, I guess. Oh, Barbary Wiswell. Or is that the same one? Not, not quite sure. Yeah, I think it's the same woman. Barbara Dustin, she has a lot of like cryptic anti-Stark remarks in the book. She has like one paragraph where she appears, but people have theorized about her for like years. <laughs> That's pretty great. We are by, we are the most powerful vessel by far, followed by our our rival. And I think we should try to reduce the power of our rival a little bit, which we can do immediately if we want to, without a claim, because we have the broken branch, so we can we can try to grab this this county from them. Uh, let's let, let's check the alliances. Should we have, I think we should wait for the realm to be at peace. My brother-in-law. Yeah, that's uh, Kevin Lannister, yeah. <laughs> Lordship of White Harbor. Ooh. We gotta go for it, right? Yeah. We have to go for it. Let's continue with the claims. We kind of want to grab the whole of White Harbor. Because those are our main rivals. So if, if we grab those, we are... We will be the most powerful lord in the north. It is done. Your champion Sir Robert lies dead in a pool of his own blood and Brandon stands victorious. Okay, Daisy walks free. I mean, that's fine, I suppose. That's how the trial by combat system works. Although we should... I think this has probably triggered us a little bit because we... We need a better fighter. We should we should find somebody. That's always fun in this mod, anyway. Um, so we could say formidable fighter, strong. Are those there? Probably not. Yeah, there is one. This man, Emmet. He's got 110 personal combat skill, but he's in the Night's Watch. So we won't be able to uh, to deal with him. Formidable fighter genius, maybe? Uh, we can we can sort, sort by uh, by martial skill. Lynn Corbray. Jamie Lannister. Oh, he's still alive. He's also in the Night's Watch, obviously. If Laura Starrell, of course. Also still alive in his 40s. Uh, none of these guys want to join me anyway, so it's... Uh, it's a moot point. All right, that's no problem because we can do skilled fighter strong. Those are almost as good. Rolly Duckfield, Lothar Brun, 90 personal combat skill. Hostine Frey, 85. Uh, these guys are a bit old for me, but they're the best we can do, I guess. So fine. Hello, guys. They want to join me for free, so that's that's always good. Hello, guys. Welcome. Can Kevin of the Rock uh, accepted the? Uh, peace offer, and I think, yeah, we claim their ancestral heirloom. So, King Rickon has probably, yeah, has had ice added to their treasury. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. So, he, re he reclaimed the Stark ancestral sword. I guess they didn't uh, they didn't yet uh, turn it into two swords, as they did in the show. I think we, we, we started playing before that happened. He's got the Blackfish's armor as well. Ice, okay, great. Good going, Rickon. You're still a pretty terrible fighter because, well, <laughs> because we, uh, Ramsey cut off your hand. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, at least you're in the positives now. Dangerous factions. No, increased council power is not going to happen, guys. It's not going to happen. It's just not. I know you guys all hate me. All right. The uh, wars between the great parts of the Romans have subsided for now. Okay, good. Because that means... Uh, dangerous factions. 131% is a lot, though. How is our how is our alliance system doing? King of the Rock from Alliance. Some gift? 25 gold. Fine. I don't know if he's even allowed to join me when uh, there's a faction revolt. I have learned that there are certain factions within my, the realm working to undermine my rule. If you are involved or planning to become so, I trust that your complicity in these matters ends now. This, uh, this letter was an act of desperation. Best not to risk it. I mean, we're just, but... Affection should just be allowed, right? So no, <laughs> we will join factions if if we want to, man. Minus ten, yeah, we have uh, one eyed. Okay, this man is is our ally. That's good. I thought we had another uh, King Edric of the Iron Throne. Fine, we can join that war. He's losing it anyway. So I kind of want to try to marry my way into a claim. To the Iron Throne. I think that would be well worth it. We have this guy. 
preferably I would like to matrilineally marry one of these kids. This guy has a strong claim and will probably... When this guy inherits the throne, I think this guy is second in line, right? This boy. I would like you to marry my daughter. Ideally, matrilineally. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. What if we invite this man? Oh, this is John Stark. You want to join my court, my man? No. Mm, okay. Alright, can we buy a favor from you? No, also not, I guess. Cost me 50 bucks. Uh, I, I guess if we buy a favor and then invite him to our court, then Lothar Stark will be at our court and we'll be able to matrilineally marry him to our daughter. But it's a bit of a far-fetched plan. It might be it might be uh, better to wait for a kid out of uh, King Rickon. Minus 39. Come on, man. Don't, don't be like that. Threatened by claim fabrication. I'll screw you. King Rickon wrote me back. Notice of my interest. Yada, yada, yada. 10. Uh, opinion. Good. He still hates me, though. We've had in command happen to us. I think we should resign as a commander. I think we really need to... We, we cannot really use that 20% uh, fertility penalty. Nerys Targaryen has had Drogon's dragon egg added to that treasury. She's, she is still, she's still around, huh? You attacking anyone? I don't think she has any levies, really. Few events spawn troops. I had, uh, had to break up a fight between my ward, John L, and another child today. Talk to her about kindness. You can be kind. Your brother-in-law has been captured. Okay. All right. <laughs> can we try to release this guy? Rescue from prison. Yeah, we can try that. It's one of the few plots that I, I will allow myself. Rescue somebody from prison. Minus 100% though. War should be over soon. Here we go. Lord Paramount Kevin of the Westerlitz accepted King Edric of the Iron Thrones peace offer. So that means that he's now... Yeah, it's, it's, it's the Westerlands again. So he's a Lord Paramount again. Okay, interesting. Are you still at war though, King uh, Edric? Uh, slave raid. Okay, so I think it should all come together again. I'm quite curious which kingdoms are now part of the Iron Throne and which are not. Yeah, the Westerlands definitely. Okay, Dorn. What is this? Request council support? Nope. Nope, no commander. Uh, the Stormlands, I guess, because they're still internally at war. But I think they also... Uh, they're also Lord Paramounts. Yeah, Lord Paramount. So the Reach is still independent. The Mountain of Hill has ex expanded at the, uh, at the at the expense of the North. And the North is still here. Who is, who is ruling the, the Riverlands, actually? Barbara of the Trident. Okay, Barbara Brecken. I know some people have strong opinions about the Breckens. <laughs> I haven't read Fire and Blood, but that's what I, l I read on the wiki, on the, uh, the Reddit after uh, one of the, like, a couple of House of Dragons episodes ago, like two or three. There was uh, some uh, some fights between uh, Breckens and, uh, what's the other one? Blackwoods? Yeah, I think so. Breckens and Blackwoods. Why do I hate the discussion? Yeah, so uh, that was there. People apparently have strong opinions about the Breckens and the Blackwoods. Even though, again, there's like it's one paragraph, I think, to them. But fine. No, no it's a bit more, I think. Uh, Why do I hate the discussion between myself and the Stable Master? Caught Brenda's attention. And she settled the matter. Okay, good. Good going, Brenda. Miss Tyrell is still around, eh? 67. He's no longer the heir. Willis is the heir. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. Willis was, I think, uh, forced by faction to uh, become the, uh, the ruler. Stannis Bratton is still here, 59. Iron Throne, the Red Watch, the Zero War. Right. Uh, we have Jamie Lannister still, uh, still around at the, on the Night's Watch. He, 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 they gave him command of a castle, even. We got Cersei Lannister. You married Cersei? Nope. Tybalt Lannister. Where are you? At Court in Hayford still. I think she's been there for a while. We have Jon Stark, aka Jon Snow, who is in the East, still part of the Night's Watch. Uh, anything happening up north? Not really. I think the uh, the, the others are gone, at least. Nair Sargarian still here. Tom and Fat Lion <laughs> still, still around. 32 years old. Previous king of the Iron Throne. Uh, we have Marcella Lannister, who is here. Married to Sir Miles Osgrey, minor lord in the Reach. So happily ever after, I guess. We have Rayella Targaryen, who is the daughter of uh, Daenerys. I, I remember her. She was, she was queen once. She was queen for a very short time. Then she was deposed by uh, Edric Storm. 
Uh, we have uh, Edric Bretheon. Yep, that's Edric Storm. I think, yeah. Edric, uh, Edric Storm, yeah. Edric Shield. He called himself once. Boromund is the heir. He's been ruling for, ruling for quite a while, I think. Uh, can we see the history? Yeah, 12 years. So it's been quite stable. Last decade or so. And we have Harold Aaron, Rick on Stark. Uh, Harold Aaron has expanded. He's been doing quite a good job. Conquering uh, the Trident. Alright. Continue going for a little bit longer. Now it's time for Kevin of the Westerlands to marry my aunt, Elena Bolton. Alright. I accept. I accept your, your offer, my man. You can marry my uh, my aunt, that's fine. All the melee, we're not gonna do that. I think... Ugh, this council power thing is a bit tricky. Uh, let's see if we can do anything about that. Leech loyalist, huh? Brendan Overton, my justiciar, good. Very good. Uh, we have this man who hates us. Refused faction scheme, yeah, screw you. We're not gonna give you the broken branch. And the rest of it, yeah, I mean, it's really... Because he's kind of a prick. Like, that's the only reason he hates me. <laughs> Female heir. Ambitious, zealous, yeah. And then the minus 20 opinion modifier, obviously, of... Uh, that we inherited from our, uh, our dad. This, this woman is kind of the same. She's envious, ambitious. But that's kind of just... Uh, just her. Alright, I think we will leave it here. I think next episode... We will uh, attack our rival. Winifred Mannerly. The... Daughter, probably, or granddaughter of, uh, of the old uh, Wyman Manderley. Here he is, the Lord Lamprey. Uh, we will attack her. We will take White Harbor itself if we can. And if we can't, we will try again. <laughs> uh, or attack Sheep's Head Hills. I mean, we'll, we will do both, obviously. We will f first go for White Harbor. Probably uh, th this will be a very nice addition to our, our land. And then we will capture Sheep's Head Hills. And let's see how we do. That will for sure make us the by far the most powerful uh, ruler in the north, so I think that is uh, well worth doing. Yeah, if, if we do that, we are already quite dominant. We are already twice as strong as Winifred is, but if we capture her land, we will be even more dominant. So that gives us uh, another step up on the ladder towards uh, becoming king of the north. So thank you guys for watching. In the meantime, uh, John L says goodbye. I know this guy is a bit less fun <laughs> than uh, Ramsey and uh, and Roos, but uh, you know, it's, it's good to play as a good guy. Uh, once again, and I think he already lost some of his uh, ter territorial, uh, tyrannical stain. He still has some dynastic stain, but that should go away soon. So it's, it's just nice to play as a good guy uh, guy again for a while. Uh, so let's see how John all does in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, do remember to subscribe if you like this stuff. Um, and see you next video. Bye-bye.